Right. Is there one more example? Are you pulling something? Oh, yeah. Um, this is something that's very much in progress. Um, so I'm not going to click on a lot of things. Um, a lot of questions <laughs> that we were getting when we were talking to enterprise customers is, when is it right to use one over the other? And, mm -hmm. and, and like we said at the start, right, the Nan Nano Banana is great for like the fun, creative editing skills. And for like for the really professional, high fidelity use cases, you're, you want to pick Nano Banana Pro. But hopefully I'll push this live soon. You can now in this app find your banana. Mm -hmm. So. What is your primary goal? <laughs> um, if it's like to create a UI mock-up or a complex marketing asset, <laughs> or do you want to like, generate a photorealistic like, image from a text prompt? Okay, let's say it's you want to generate like from a text prompt. What's important to you? Um, if it's like high quality, res high quality and resolution, then you want to go Nano Banana Pro. Like yes. I said, very much work in progress. <laughs> uh, but like you can always like kind of you know go back a de decision. Uh, if you want precise text rendering, for example, you still want to go Nano Banana Pro. Um, so this is just something I'm trying to help build to help people understand what's right for them because we have like we now have like models that like surface both ends of the gambit mm -hmm. and I think that's so important because yeah. now like all of these are table stakes skills yeah. and now the question is what's next? Like I mean I hear you on transparency but that like <laughs> yeah. that, the, the bigger point is like segmentation and like precision yeah. editing and I feel like that kind of like is really exciting for the design realm for the knowledge realm I feel like documentation and making sure that like everything gets visualized and it's like coherent throughout that's going to be like mm -hmm. consistently our benchmark and I feel like we just need to like make this the most useful visualization tool that you can use mm -hmm. so I feel like those two are going to be like standard part of our list uh, and just like making it accessible fast easy to yeah. use and all of that like really hinting at the end to end experience that you guys like are experts at building. I feel like that's really exciting. For you, top of mind, what are we going to go build? Will there be a Nano this? Banana 2? Maybe. <laughs> you have to peel to find yeah. out. Peel to find uh, out. Right. That's a good one. Like that's that. a good one. Banana puns are coming all day long. Peel yeah. yeah. to find out. Peel to find out. We should we should add that somewhere. Yeah. 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 And that's Another where you put your API keys. That's yeah. where you put your API key. I like that. Peel to find out. Uh, I think for me, like, Education and learning, like, mm -hmm. I think the great thing about being a PM is you're always learning on the job. TPUs versus GPUs was a conversation that came up. It's like, I have zero idea. Absolutely. Yes, I could learn it in text, but it's much easier if I can just have like a nice visual table. So when is it right? Like, when can we do proactive image generation when people are trying to learn things or when people are trying to create things? How can we really push that like visual journey forward? I think that's something that really excites me. And now that we have kind of these let's call them foundational pieces, how can we push that journey forward? I think that's something that I'm really thinking about a lot and hoping to get right. Yeah, and I'll do, I'll yeah, do yeah. one plug, uh, Nana, based on what you were saying of, of which banana is right for you. So if you go build an AI studio, we, our agent has awareness of when it should be using Pro, when it should be using Sick. yeah previous mm -hmm. Nano banana. So if you want to do lighter weight, quick edit type tasks, it'll generate an app using the right model in the right context. So ai.studio slash build. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> so build. One more, one more plug is uh, the AI Studio Playground also has compare mode. So if you're really trying yes. to see oh, the like yeah. side by side, I have it on my screen, but yeah. you can do Nano Banana, you can do the, the pro model oh, yeah. um, and actually just look at the outputs mm. uh, side by side, which is awesome. So yeah. This was this was a ton of fun. Happy happy launch day. Happy. Thank you. Thank Hopefully, you. folks are enjoying the model. Um, <laughs> you can tag the at Nano Banana account on Twitter, and it'll generate images for you. Um, and Please yeah, excited. There's some awesome stuff you can build. There's lots of cool stuff. <laughs> Keep show us your best images. We're excited yeah, yes, to see all yeah. the stuff. Thank you for Send tuning in. Send us feedback, uh, and hopefully. Hopefully this will be the last live stream this week. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you. We'll see you some other time. No promises. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to the live stream uh, and enjoy the new models. Awesome! Yay! And throw us to the top cam. Oh, you need that on yes. your back. Yeah. <laughs> <Perfect. laughs>